turning a buzzer into a speaker sounds like an interesting idea. So I decided to do an experiment to check if it's possible or not. In this video, I will show you the experiment I've done and go through some essential concepts like how to use electric condensers, signal amplification, and noise filtering. So even if this experiment sounds boring for you, I'm sure that watching this video will teach you something. Let's first start with electric condensers or electric microphones. These microphones are available for very low price with different sizes. The one I'm using in my experiment is the 4mm one, which is the smallest and cheapest one. Why did I select this size? Well, when buying these mics, I didn't pay attention to the size of the microphones, so this is what I have. An electric microphone is nothing but a capacitor that contains permanent charge. The secret behind that is the high impedance of the material that the microphone is made of. This capacitor contains both flexible and the fixed plates. When the sound wave hits the flexible plate, the distance between plates changes, which will change the voltage across the capacitor. But this voltage is so small due to the high impedance material mentioned before. That's why the fixed plate is connected to a field effect transistor to buffer the signal to the positive terminal from high impedance to low impedance. Now, to power the microphone, 5 volt supply is used with a pull up 1 kilo ohm resistor that's connected to the positive terminal of the microphone. One microfarad capacitor is also needed to block the DC voltage that's coming from the power supply, for a reason that will be explained later. Note that this setup is recommended by the datasheet of the electric microphone. To start with the experiment, I soldered two leads to the microphone pins, so I can connect it to my breadboard. After that, I used the setup recommended by the datasheet to test the output signal coming from the microphone, and here is what I got. As you can notice, the output voltage I got has a peak voltage of 0.25 volt at most, which is very low to use for a speaker. So using LM358 chip, which contains two op amps, I designed this simple amplifier to amplify the microphone output. The amplifier gain is determined by the feedback resistance and the resistance connected to the non-inverting pin of the amplifier using this formula. In my case, I'm getting a gain of around 200. So, for example, if the microphone outputs 0.2 volts, the amplifier output will be 40 volts. But of course, the amplifier has limits, and these limits are determined by the VCC and ground pins. This means that the amplifier output won't go above VCC, neither below 0 volt. So, in this case, the maximum output I can get is 5 volts. And in order not to lose any part of the signal due to clipping, a DC offset is added to the output signal so it swings freely between the output saturation limits. And this is done by adding a voltage divider to the non-inverting pin. Note that using relatively large resistances is a good idea to avoid large power dissipation in them. Remember before connecting a speaker, which is a buzzer in my case, to put a series capacitor with a value of 100 microfarad or higher to remove the DC offset so your speaker doesn't get permanent damage. In my case, I'm using a buzzer, so it's not a big deal in terms of protection. After connecting the circuit and using a he my headphones as an input to the microphone, the result was satisfying. And here is the result if we remove the series capacitor. Notice how the output can't exceed 5 volt, so I thought of supplying higher voltage to the VCC pin of the amplifier. For that, I used the variable DC power supply that I have built in my previous video to supply 11 volt to the VCC pin. As a result, 
the volume level has increased significantly. Remember that I didn't change the DC offset I am supplying through the non-inverting pin of the amplifier, so the output signal suffered from clipping at its bottom. As you can hear, the output audio contains an annoying noise. Unfortunately, the oscilloscope I am using cannot measure the frequency of this noise. So, after doing some research, I found that such a noise frequency is in megahertz range. So, the best solution to solve this is to design a low pass filter with a cutoff frequency in kilohertz range the, to increase the audio quality. Aiming for a specific cutoff frequency and having the feedback resistor will make calculating the filter capacitance a piece of cake. After adding the filter to the overcall circuit, here's the result. Now to give you an idea of how the buzzer voice loud it is, I am recording a half meter away of it. After seeing the result of my experiment, please let me know your opinion in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe to keep such videos coming.